chers concitoyens, depuis la confirmation du premier cas sur notre territoire il y a exactement trois mois, j'ai donné des instructions au gouvernement afin que la lutte contre cette pandémie soit une priorité absolue. Des mesures de riposte ont été déployées progressivement afin de réduire le risque de propagation du virus. C'est ainsi que j'ai décrété l'état d'urgence dans notre pays depuis le 26 mars 2020. D'autres dispositions plus ciblées ont suivi comme la fermeture des frontières, des échanges spéciaux au transport des personnes et des marchandises, la fermeture des écoles, universités, lieux de culte, bars, restaurants, la situation des conférences, colloques internationaux et tournois sportifs, ainsi que d'autres cadres de rassemblement de personnes. Dans la même logique, le port de Alpha Conde, born 4th March 1938, is a Guinean politician who served as the fourth president of Guinea from 2010 to 2021. Conde spent decades in opposition to a succession of regimes in Guinea and successfully running against the President Lansana Conte. In the 1993 and 1998 presidential elections and leading the rally of the Guinean people, RPG, an opposition party. Standing again in the 2010 presidential election, Conde was elected president in a second round of voting. Upon his election, he said he would strengthen Guinea as a democracy and fight corruption. When Conde took office in December 2010, he became the first freely elected president in the country's history. He was re-elected in 2015 with about 58% of the vote and again in 2020 with 59.5% after a constitutional referendum which allowed Conde to reset his term limit and seek two more terms. The move had been controversial and sparked massive protests before and after the referendum, which were brutally replaced. Conde's critics have claimed there was fraud in the 2015 and 2020 elections. On 30th January 2017, Conde succeeded Chadis Idris Debi as head of the African Union. He was succeeded by Rwandan President Paul Kagame on 28th January 2018. On 5th September 2021, the Guinean armed forces arrested Conde and overthrew. Was born in Boke in Lower Guinea. His parents were from Upper Volta. Conde left for France at the age of 15. He was active in the National Union of, for, of Higher Education, the Association of Guinean Students in France, and the Black African Students Federation in France, of which he was claimed to be the executive coordinator of African nation groups from 1967 to 1975, overseeing the activities of the directorate. Conde won 18% of the vote in Guinea's first multi-party presidential election held on 19th September, December 1993. Lansana Conde, who had been president since 1984, coup d'etat, won the election with 51.7% of the vote. Conde supporters alleged fraud election after the Supreme Court nullified results in the Kankan and the Siguri prefectures where Conde had received more than 6% of the vote. Conde supporters retorted with intimidation, ballot staffing and violence in the Kankan and Siguli prefectures resulting in the Supreme Court nullifying the results in the prefectures. Conde stood again in June November 2010 presidential election during the first round received 18% of the votes while Celo Delin Diallo placed first with over 40%. On 15th September 2010, Conde was declared the winner of the second round with 52.5%. Imogen Rose Smith from Institutional Investor said that his win was surprising given his poor results in previous elections and in the first round of the election. 
after he was elected, Konde attempted to improve the mining law in Guinea in consultation with George Solos in order to reduce corruption in the sector and increase the country's benefit. Konde turned to the billionaire investor Solos to help draw up a mining code that would reduce corruption and increase the government's stake from 15% to 35%. On, 30, on 19th John, July 2011, the presidential residence was a shell resulting in the death of a presidential guard and the injuries of two others. Konde survived the alleged assassination attempt. A former army chief and a member of the presidential guard were arrested hours after the two attacks on his house. The president later spoke to the country saying that my house was attacked last night but I congratulate the presidential guard who fought Hiloe Kari from 3.10 a.m. in the night until 5 before backup arrived. He also added that his plans to reform would re not fail. On 5th September 2021, Conde was captured and overthrown by the military. The 2021 Guinea coup d'etat, promising to change the political landscape of Guinea. The military's special forces dissolved the constitution and shut the country's land and air borders. Lieutenant Kano Mamadi Dumboya, the head of the special forces, said that government corruption and mismanagement precipitated the coup. Konde was released from military detention and was sent to the residence of his wife, Jenny Kaba Konde, in Konakri. She thanks the military junta for releasing her husband and guaranteeing him treatment worth of his rank. On 9th December 2022, the U.S. Treasury published a list of more than 40 personalities targeted by sanctions for acts of corruption and human rights violations. Among the targets of the Office of Foreign Assets Control, Financial Control Body of the Treasury Department is Alpha Conde. Personal life Alpha Conde is a Muslim. He was married to Jijene Kaba Conde, has one son, Alpha Mohammed Conde.